Mick, we go to Super Sat Day at Flemington this weekend. Lankham Rupee in the listed race over 1,100. Yeah, pretty good horse. He's had two trials, and I was going to give him three because he's an entire, and he's had a bit of trouble screwing him down fitness-wise. And um, they cancelled the trials here just before his trial last week, which was um, Thunder and Lightning or whatever. But, um, look, I can't get him any fitter without racing. I'm just not sure if he's 100% fit. Um, anyway, I suppose race day will tell me that. But, um, look, he's a, he's a good horse uh, going places. And I'm not saying he can't win, because he has had two trials. Um, he'll go close. He'll go close. Just a little query on the last 100 metres, maybe. And then you've got Lannister in the group, two over 1,400. And what did you take from his uh, first and second up run? First run okay, like a 1400 metre type horse. Second run didn't handle the ground at Sandown. He came out to put himself in the finish and Dale Smith said the wheels were spinning. He's drawn third box from the outside there. I think it's a really, really tough ask for him and uh, probably need to speak to the owners whether they actually want to run him or not. And then you've got Danny the Fox and Kellnish and the Blamey together over the uh, mile. They're both well suited. Happy that um, Danny the Fox is in the Blamey, not the Australian Cup. Uh, they're both really well. Um, not impossible they run one two. Uh, Kellanish is good. Kellanish is still on the way up. Um, he's marching towards 2,000 metres this time. Been good the other day, but they ran 121.6 or something in the last three and 33, and that's just too fast for him. But uh, look, they're both in beautiful order, both good horses in beautiful order, and both run well. And uh, then you've got Sheila's Star, races over the 1,400, and an unlucky yeah, last start being beaten by uh, Tavernell. It's unlucky that Tavernell was in the race, yes. Um, look, we were beautifully ridden, had every chance. I think that she was a little bit underdone. Um, Dwayne Dunn was not specifically of that opinion, but um, just it makes sense to me that she was a little bit underdone going from the um, sprint to the 1400, second up, and difficult mare to work with, uh, as in can't work her much. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. I, I'm confident the backup will be good for her and she'll run exactly the same sort of race. So um, hopefully she can nail a stakes win because she does deserve it. And a few good horses in Super Saturday. Who's your tip for the weekend uh, out of your few? Out of mine, I'd love to see Lincoln Rupee win. He's reduced colt, well-bred. Uh, so he's the one I'll be um, cheering for the most, I guess. But uh, anything with um, my name on it, I'll be happy.